In this video, I'm going to talk about Power Toys Run. Now, this is one of the most useful utility within the Power Toys tool application. Now, this is a must have and you should make use of this if you want to find uh, content or information in a quick amount of time. Okay. Now, what it does, it's basically a quick launcher to run application. Okay. But beyond application, it can do much more. Okay. Now you can, uh, it with, once you trigger this Power Toys run, it will give you a basically a search bar and within the search bar, you need to type in some extra commands, okay? Now you need not remember the command, those commands are special characters. So example, uh, if you are presented with a search box and if you type equal to, okay, as you see over here, and if you type three, seven, you know, three plus seven, then it will actually calculate the value, okay? Similarly, for folder, you can type C colon slash and then it will navigate to your folder within your operating system. Similarly, you can see history. Uh, you can open Power Toys application. You can do a window search. Uh, you can search within OneNote. You can open a program. You can open the registry file. You can open the service applications running within your windows. You can execute shell commands. Uh, you can see the date and time, uh, you can convert units, uh, you can uh, view the URI handler, you can do a value generation, open the code workspace, web search, windows setting, windows terminal, windows walker, and so on and so forth. Now, I know this information is not clear now, but then once I do the demonstration, you will understand what I'm talking about. But remember the shortcut, alt space, okay? So let me show you in action, okay? Now, First thing under Power Toys Run, if you go into Power Toys Run in uh, Power Toys setting, there are other settings which you can do in the back end. I'm not going to go through that, but there are uh, many things which you can do over here. But make sure before you execute all these commands, uh, you need to turn all these options on. Okay, once you turn all these options on, then you can do a whole bunch of things within uh, Power Toys Run. So let me open that application, okay? So, yeah. So let me open this window, okay? Now, say we are in, say, Edge, okay? Now, if I press Alt Space, now see what happens. You see a search box over here, okay? I just did Alt Space and then the search box appeared, okay? Now, this is not the edge search bar okay alt space this is a search bar now if i put equal to and i could say five maybe five plus nine it gives me the answer okay now if i say something more if i say this okay so technically you don't need a calculator this will solve all your problem okay and it can take complex equation as well okay and you multiply by this and you get the relevant answers from here. Now, this is how you can use calculator. So equal to sign. Now, again, alt space, if I type C colon, and then if I type typing my name C colon slash Kiri, I can see all the folders belonging to Kiri in C colon, okay? Now, this is how I can do a search on my hard drive. And if I click on it, it will open the folder. So this is how you navigate to the uh, C drive. Or maybe you can use tilde as well, okay? If you press tilde and then also you can navigate to the folder. Now, <coughs> okay, sorry, I showed tilde over here. You can do tilde over here, okay? Yeah, now, again, alt space. If I put hash, uh, sorry, exclamation, exclamation, I can see all the settings, uh, all the history, all the history basically. So. It, it will show you the history of your navigation of what all things you have navigated so far, okay? So this is also an important uh, code. Again, uh, next, if I want to open Power Toys related application, okay? So Power Toys has a lot of many utilities. So if I put, press add the rate, then I can see, I can pick all the different utility. I can open all these different utilities. So if I want to open color picker, then I can open color picker. And then this color picker is activated. Okay. 
rather than going to power tools and then opening this okay so remember add the rate uh, not here oh sorry okay alt space and you need to press at the rate and then you can open other applications so if i want to open screen ruler i can open screen ruler okay so like this you can uh, open different application within uh, power tools okay so let me do alt space and now the next command is question mark if i want to search something in windows i will press question mark and then i will start typing the information okay so if i type board you know i can see all the file names starting with bord okay and then i can go into that specific file okay so this is searching in windows okay now if if i want to open any program within windows like windows windows word excel and all those things just press dot okay and start typing okay so if i type win then it tells me that i can open uh, word project project server accounts okay or if i just type dot power and then i can uh, open all these different applications starting with power okay so dot is the uh, keyword to type the, uh, to search for program if i want to search something in registry i will put colon and then i'll start typing something which i can navigate and then i can go into that specific registry area so rather than going opening the application reg edit i will just come here and press colon and then start searching for registry information now if i want to see what all services are opened within the application i can put exclamation and then I can see various services which has been opened within my Windows application, okay, Windows operating system. So I can go into any of the service right from here. I can uh, start the service. I can see the services in a bigger window like this we can do, okay. Now, next is I can execute a command as well. So if I put just a caret sign, uh, angle bracket, sorry, uh, then if I start typing the command, so who am I? then i can actually execute the shell command without even opening the powershell or command prompt okay so this is also one of the powerful uh, functionality okay now if i want to see the date and time what i can do i i can just um, put an opening uh, bracket and see if i just put opening bracket i can see the time date time date date time you know those kind of things I, if I just want to see time, you know, I can just type time as well, you know, and then I can see an expanded time. Like I can see the Unix epoch time. I can see the uh, AM PM time. I can see the Windows file time format. Okay. So those all things I can see. Let's see if I can see date as well. Yes. I can see the date is uh, week of the month is four. Day of the week is 295, 22nd date of the month, 43rd week of the year. So I can see a whole bunch of different, different information. Uh, there are other things uh, you can do. If you want to do a web search, you can do question, question mark, and then you can type in something if you want to search in the web. So the moment you uh, enter it, it will take you to that search uh, in uh, Windows. Okay. Now, now this search was searching in the web okay now that's what basically web search was so question question mark is a web search okay it's a web search now uh, if i type dollar then it will show me all the windows related settings if i directly want to go to say i want to see the control panel so instead of going into windows button and then typing the control panel and all those things just press dollar over here and you can navigate to control panel directly from here you know so like this you can open the uh, control panel okay you can see about you can go into various things okay various things now uh, if you want to navigate to the windows now see over here there are many applications which are open like power toys calculator notepad and whatnot okay if you want to navigate to this application then you can use windows walker okay so if i put less than sign this will show me what all applications are currently running okay now as you see over here clip champ is running calculator is running edit plan settings is running um, power toy setting is running so if i click on power toy setting you know I, i'll be able to see all those information now this is basically 
walking through the windows. Now, there are other things which you can uh, run. Uh, let me show you something else as well. So it's basically uh, calculations. Okay. So if you want to generate a grid. Okay. So if I press alt space and if I put hash. Okay. Now, if I want to calculate a grid, I will just type grid and it will generate a grid. And I can use this grid. I can copy this grid and I can use it anywhere. Now, this is not uh, uh, like just left to the grid. I can generate grid for version number one. Okay. Now, grid one, one version is basically, you know, generating a grid now based on time. Okay. So, if I put grid one, okay, and then again grid one, you see. Now, the uh, only difference what you see is just from character, you know. Now, because this is generating based on time. Now, similarly, you can have a grid based on namespace. You can put grid based on random value. So, grid 4 is random, you know. Then you'll see all the random grid generated. Now, this is not time-based, okay. But 1 was time-based. As you see here, very few change in the grid, okay, based on just the time interval. But grid 4 is random. Similarly, grid 3 is based on some namespace. Now, in order to use grid 3, uh, you need to first specify, uh, say, grid 3. And then you need to specify the DNS uh, name. Okay. And then you need to specify what type of grid you want. So, if I say for Microsoft.com, this is the grid I want. Okay. Now, grid 3, you need to specify the namespace and then the URL. Okay. And this is basically generating the grid for Microsoft.com using the DNS namespace. Now, it is not limited to just generating grid. If you want to generate an MD5, okay, if I'm generating MD5 for the text Girish, see it has generated the MD5, okay. It can even generate SHA1, okay. So SHA1 for the Girish, now it has generated SHA1. Similarly, SHA256 for Giri, uh, it will be this. Okay. Similarly, you can generate SHA 384. Okay. Uh, generate SHA for this. And similarly, SHA 512. Okay. So, like this, we can generate different, different um, hashing uh, uh, calculations uh, based on this. Now, if I want to generate another thing is uh, base 64. If I want to see the base 64 encoded version of the text Kirish, this is the base 64 encoded version for the text Kirish. And this will increase as and when you type in those text okay so this is how you can generate b64 encoded uh, characters okay so uh, i believe that's it uh, i think i have covered most of the thing there are many other things which you can do in this application but uh, again that will be the topic for another day but this is what you can do within the power toys run application so make sure you use this functionality in your day-to-day -day life and it will help you access the information uh, very quickly and you will be more productive in your uh, activities thanks for watching